Grab a notebook, grab a pen. Do your homework and tell a friend. Know all the answers and buzz them in. Who knows it better? You are them. It's the cooking classroom. Now let's begin. Now, here's the host of the classroom, Richard Curtis. Hey, look, my dude. Yo, hit me with something hot. Yes. Chloe, what do you got? Tay is doing it too. How about these guys? Teachers! They're rocking. The trash talk has begun. And that's what we love. Oh man, today, guys, it's the students and their friendly teachers from Free Airy Charter Middle School in Center City, Philadelphia. Hey, they just entered the classroom to show the pitch students against their favorite teachers. What's up? Yes. That crowd believes in these students. They said these are the three that are going to take on the teachers. They're going to walk away with $500 in bragging rights. But can they do it? We're about to find out because we're jumping off with a pop quiz. All right, both sides are just daggering each other right now with those eyes saying, I got you. Well, we're going to find out. Grab your buzzers because we have one minute and 30 seconds on the clock. We're going to get through as many questions as we can, guys. Each correct answer. Well, I'm going to give you 10 points for getting it right. If you buzz in first, just wait until I call your name. If you get the question wrong, your whole team's locked out, but the other side has a chance to buzz in and steal those points. Okay, guys, this time starts right now. Pop quiz. What is the name of the second largest ocean in the world? Atlantic. Mr. Adler. Atlantic. Atlantic is going to get you 10. Teacher strike first. Extra credit question. At sea level, what is the boiling point of water in Celsius? Mr. Zagaki. 100 degrees. 100 degrees is right. In the MLB, the city of Boston is represented by what team? Mr. Zagaki again. The Red Sox. The Red Sox. In math, what does the L stand for in the FOIL method that is used to multiply two binomials? Mr. Zagaki. Left. FOIL method, the L, students. Looking for the last is the answer there, guys, last. In what 1777 American Revolution battle did George Washington fool the British by leaving the fires burning at camp to make a surprise attack? Mr. Adler. Valley Forge. For the steal. Caleb, Chloe, Taya. Buzzer stands silent here. Here we go, the Battle of Princeton, right down the rear there. Here we go. Taylor Swift fans are referred to by what nickname? Mr. Zagaki. Swifties. Are you one? Obviously. <laughs> yes, okay. <laughs> what two letters are used for the abbreviation for the state of West Virginia? Mr. Adler. WV. WV is right. Students, let's get you guys going here. Let's try this one. West India, West African, and Amazonian are three species of what flat-tailed large underwater mammal that often referred to as a sea cow? Taya. Is it a walrus? Incorrect. Miss Boyd? Manatee? Manatee's going to get that and shut it down. We had to stop it. How about this one? Teachers, 70 points on the board. We have the principal and two teachers and then three amazing students who, guys, don't worry, I'm not a starting guy either. I always like to come in and grab that victory mid-game. And I'll tell you what, we're changing the pace. I think we should send someone to detention right now. Okay, guys, we're going to have a chance to swing this around here. Put your buzzers down. You're going to work together as a group on this one. Here's how detention works. I'll give the trailing team a category. You're going to have 10 seconds to decide whether you want to play or if you want to pass. You choose to play, answer the question correctly. You can send any member of the other team to detention, but if you get it wrong, they can send one of you. You pass, they have to answer the question. Same elimination rules apply. The first team to get everyone in detention gets to smile, point, and laugh. And I'm going to give them 40 points for doing it. Let's take a look. Here we go. We're going to start with our students who are behind right now. Social studies is your category. Pass or play? Play. Here you go. Along with separation of powers, what system established within the U.S. government was developed to ensure that each branch of government has ways to limit the others? Democracy? Checks and balances is what we were looking for there, guys. So no points. Teachers, you get to send somebody to detention. Who's it going to be? Uh, we're going to send Taya to detention. Taya, team captain. Taya, the audience is saying, I knew it. Did Taya, has Taya been talking smack? Has there been? 
<laughs> so it, it, she had this one coming to her. I'll tell you what, teachers, we're going to stay with you guys here. Your category is science. Pass we'll or play? Play. We'll play? We'll play. There you go. What is the term for the type of boundary where two tectonic plates collide, sometimes forming mountains and volcanoes? What is a fault line? Convergent boundary or destructive plate boundaries, guys. Could not get that done. So how about this, Caleb, Chloe, warm the hands up because you get to send Mr. somebody Mitt. to detention here. Mr. Matt. Um, Mr. Matt. Mr. Mr. Adler out of the game. Let me get this right, guys. We have the principal of the school sitting team captain over here, and you guys chose not to send him? Yeah. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> okay, guys, well then let's keep this going. It goes back to you. Mm -hmm. Category is music theory. Get. We'll play. In music, the term fort, excuse me, the term forte, it's French, means that the music is meant to be played at what volume? Forte. Loud. Loud is right. Play a little bit, gets it done. You guys might be interested to know that Caleb's a singer, and you can't wait to sing a little bit later, but you get to send someone to attention now. Who's that going to be? Miss Christine. Miss Christine, Miss Boyd is out of the game. OK. Teacher gets the category. OK, Mr. Zagaki, here is your category. Pass or play on games. I'll play. Here you go. In the classic board game Monopoly, what is the name of the space on the board that players must land or pass in order to collect 200? Go. Go is going to do it for you. That's going to get you some points. Well, no points exactly, but we're going to put another student into detention. You have Chloe or you have Caleb. Who's it going to be? Uh, I'm going to put Caleb in detention. Caleb goes to detention. And it goes down to Chloe. All right, there, everyone's cheering for you right now because the, you got to choose this. This is your category for the win. Games was the last one. We're going to add video to the front of this. So now it's video games. Um, I'll play. Two plus two equals four pops up above the head of the calculated emote in what video game? Fortnite. You want to do it? You might as well throw that L on him. Hey! You're going to detention. Hey, Chloe, you know this one? You got to throw the L dance at him as he goes because that dance just got you guys the win in detention. Brings them up to 40 points, students for 70. And when we come back, the game continues on. So we'll see you right after the break. How about teachers in detention? Yes, girl. Yes. Tell you, can I high kick Lark? Yep, the answer is yes, I could high kick higher than my podium. I think I've always wanted to know that. Welcome back to the classroom. On the show today, it's the students and teachers from Fieri Charter Middle School in Center City, home of the Dragons. That's a scary mascot. We got to meet our teams, and I got to talk to Taya first because I'm going to throw this at you. First of all, you're an eighth grader. 500, where's that going to go? It's going to go to uh, end of the yearbook signing party. Perfect, because you need to get, raise the roof at a party, and 500 <laughs> would go a long way to do that. You've been talking smack all day. I've heard it. They threw you in detention fast without even question. What have you been talking about? Well, we've mainly been talking about how Miss Christine doesn't have a, such great memory, and we were going to use her for this exact oh, thing. Hold on to that, because <laughs> study hall is next. Hey, it's good to see you guys. She's an NHS member, and she's doing awesome things for the community. Chloe, eighth Hi. grader. She doesn't just wear the cheer outfit. She is a cheerleader, right? Yes. How long have you been cheering for? Um, I just started this year, but I wanted to do it like ever since I was little. Do, are you the person that gets thrown in the air super duper high? Yeah. That is the scary thing, and she's around to talk about it. Caleb, eighth grader, okay. you knew Forte, man, and that's because why? I'm a singer. Right. Where do you get your start? Um, I was um, I was actually singing to my mom one when I was like I was like six or five. Yeah. And I just bust out with this crazy. All right, hit me with something right now. Um, glory. Man, 
Students, good luck today. 500 on the line. Mr. Zaki, 500. He's the principal, so he's going to decide where that's going. What's it going to do? Uh, we're having an end of the year staff party at the Phillies game. Oh, not a bad staff party place. Hopefully they're playing good. Uh, it's awesome to see awesome to see here with your, with your school. You're the principal of the building. How cool is that? Yeah, they're great kids. It's a great building. Oh, that's here. awesome. We're glad you're here, man. And Miss Boyd, good to see you. Eighth grade math teacher. She makes learning fun. Tell them why. I sing in class and <laughs> And yeah. it keeps the kids going? Yeah, All sometimes. Right. All right, Most listen. Of the time. You show up to her class, parent okay, teacher night, you guys can hear it, hear it in action. <laughs> Mr. Adler, seventh grade social studies teacher. He's also the assistant hoops coach. How's the squad? Not bad. We uh, got bounced in the second round of the playoffs, but, you know. All right. Yeah, you know what they say. There's always next year, am I right? Yes, sir. All right, guys, check it out. This game continues because now we go to study hall. <laughs> All right, we love it. Here's how the game will work. Each team's going to select one player from the opposing team to enter study hall. Those two players will have 10 seconds to study a photo. I'm going to ask three questions about that photo one at a time. Then both players will have five seconds to write down their answers on the chalkboard. Each correct answer is going to get them 10 points. Look across the studio. Make your decision who's going into study hall. Teachers, we're going to start with you. We are picking Caleb. Mr. Zagaki chooses Caleb. Caleb, you don't have to go anywhere yet because you have to help pick. Who's going to detention? <laughs> or who's going into study hall with you? Miss Christine. Miss Christine, I'll tell you what, Caleb, now you can go. Chris Christine, join us now. All right, here we go, man. You were dying to get into study hall, all right? Okay, guys, are you ready? We have 10 seconds on the clock. No writing quite yet, guys. All you're going to do is study that photo right there. Good luck. All right, let's bring it down. Okay, guys, you have five seconds to write down your answers. Pens in hand. Make sure they're uncapped. Good luck. Here is your first question. What word is visible on the building in the background? All right, let's reveal your answers. Caleb, you said Saints. Saints. Miss Boyd, reveal your answers for us. Hold it up. So there's no cheating in study hall. Both said Saints. Is that correct? Saints go marching for points on both sides. And we move into question two. Here we go. One man has a hat with a pineapple on it. The other has a hat with what fruit on it? Five seconds. Go. Uh-oh. Let's reveal your answers. Miss Boyd, you said lemons. You, you can't. Caleb says apple. <laughs> that doesn't count anyway, but you are still wrong. Lemons is the right answer. <laughs> you know what? You're a lot like me, man. We'll do anything to get through class, am I right? All right, guys, question number three. You have five seconds. Good luck. What color is the shirt of the man with the orange bow tie? Five seconds. Write something down. Reveal your answers. Miss Boyd says red. Caleb, you said red. The correct answer. How about it? Yellow was the right answer. No points there. But teachers, take a 10-point lead over there, getting them to 90 points. <laughs> Students with 50, and we're not done yet because we're jumping on a bus next, guys. We're taking a field trip. We're gearing up for the final exam. We're starting to cram right now. We'll see you guys after the break. Classroom today at students and teachers from Free Airy Charter Middle School in Center City. I love this place. You guys are right in the heart of the city. And check this out. It's students, it's teachers, it's everybody that makes your school so amazing. What grade are you and what's your name? Ethan. My name is Shekinah. All right, awesome. Nice. See, you got the gear on. You're also a cheerleader. My girl Chloe up there smiling because she's a part of the team too. How is she on the cheer squad? She's really good. You were saying though, she acts like what? She acts like a grandma. Oh, uh, she acts like a grandma. She's like, <laughs> guys, don't throw me so high or what? She just be doing funny stuff at the end when we done practice and stuff. All right, well, that's what makes her. She's doing okay today, right? All right, check it out. Guys, this is just so everyone knows at home, this is style nowadays. This is like 90s throwback. You go to school. What grade are you in? Seven. Set your name? Neonate. I'm going to call you Miss Style Yes because this style is yes. Can I 
pull off a fanny pack, do you no, think? You <laughs> okay, well, guess what, guys? Just so everybody knows, I don't own any yet. Caleb's mom, I gotta talk to you about Woo! something. He tried to cheat up there. He said not. Yeah, he, you, I called him out on it. Did he get that from you? Not at all, and uh, I'll deal with him when we get home. Yes, all right. <laughs> and I got one more guy we got to introduce ourselves to. What's your name? AJ. AJ, and AJ, I want you to call it right now. Who's winning today? Is it the teachers or the students? The students. The students are winning! All right, can you say, can you say all aboard? All aboard. We're going on a field trip, baby. <laughs> That, that, I'm gonna call it. I'm gonna give him the award right now. That was the all-time cutest kid we have ever had on the classroom. Thanks, Eddie, for the help on that one. Guys, grab your buzzers. Today, we're taking a field trip to the Benjamin Franklin Parkway. The first person to buzz in and get the correct answer to each question is gonna win 10 points for their team. You buzz in, you get it incorrect, you're locked out. Remember, the other side's gonna have a chance to buzz in and steal those points. Fox 29's meteorologist Kathy Orr is driving the bus today. Kathy, take it away. Hey Richard, we're at the Parkway for question number one. I'm sure you've seen these beautiful steps, but do you know what building is at the top? Mr. Zagaki. The Philadelphia Museum of Art. That is right, nicely done my friend. Get you up to 100 points. Principal Zagaki strikes again, and Kathy, so do you. How about question number two? Richard, the view of the Benjamin Franklin Parkway never gets old. It's so beautiful. And that's what leads to our next question. What major sporting event took place for three days on the Parkway in April of 2017? Mr. Zagaki again. What is the NFL draft? You don't need a what is, but yeah, it's the NFL draft. There's another 10, gets you guys up to 110. Principal Zagaki is on a roll. Here we go, guys. Kathy with one more question in the bank. Let's get back to these famous steps. They've been seen in many films, including what 2019 superhero movie starring Zachary Levi? Zagaki for the sweep. Shazam. Shazam is right, and he does it. Every principal loves to get out of his office, and Zagaki just proved that he loves it too. A big thanks to Kathy Orr for leading our field trip today. Hey, our scores stand. Teachers, 120. Students with 50. And guys, time is up. We're going to the final exam. All right, here you go, guys. The top of today's final exam is prehistoric humans. I'm going to ask both teams three questions about our final exam topic. Each correct answer you guys get right. This will be worth 100 points. You guys will put your heads together during the commercial break. But first, how about we hear these questions? Good luck, everybody. What species of humans can be came before Homo sapiens, was first to move out of Africa, and has a name that means upright human. Finally, question two, what DreamWorks animated movie follows a prehistoric family of cavemen, including an overprotective dad named Groog, and a rebellious teenage daughter named Eep? Next, finally, here it is guys, worth 100. What name was given to the female skeleton discovered in 1974 that was the most ancient and most complete early human skeleton ever found? Okay, we know the questions. Each team has 60 seconds to talk about it. Caleb's not smiling, but will he soon? I'll tell you who is. It's Chloe and Taya, because they're feeling good about this final exam when we come back. The three teachers are going up against them to say that they are, in fact, smarter than their students. But first, my friends, here's a look at how you can be part of this trivia contest. Does your school want to be part of a game show pitting students against teachers? If you're a principal or an authorized school official, go to theclassroom.com for more information on how to get on the show. Welcome back everyone into the classroom. Today we have students and teachers from Free Area Charter Middle School going head to head. Teachers versus students. Teachers at the lead right now, 120 on the board. Students, 50. Guys, I heard them say at break, if they beat us, you're all getting detentions. Now listen, I can veto them, so I got your back here, okay? The topic of today's final exam is prehistoric humans. Before we went to break, I asked both teams three questions. Each correct answer is gonna bank them 100 points. Who aced their final exam? We find out right 
now. We move into what species of humans came before Homo sapiens, was first to move out of Africa and has a name that means upright human. Students, you're behind here, so we're gonna get you guys going first. Caleb, what did you say? Caveman. Caveman is not gonna get you any points. Hold on right there. Mr. Adler? Said Homo habilis. Also incorrect. We were looking for Homo erectus. Habilis means handyman. You could fix the cave if something broke. You'd be that little knock on there. All right, what DreamWorks animated movie follows a prehistoric family of cavemen, including an overprotective dad named Groog and a rebellious teenage daughter named Eep? Love that name. Here we go, students, you're still behind. Chloe, you said? The Flintstones. The Flintstones is not going to get you there. Here we go, we move over to Miss Boyd. Uh, we said caveman. <laughs> Incorrect. Also, guys, it's the Croods. The Croods was a good one there. Not going to get you any points. And now it comes down to this. Principal Zagaki on my left to me. Taya to my right. What name was given to the female skeleton discovered in 1974 that was the most ancient and most complete early human skeleton ever found at the time? Principal, you get this right. The game is over. 500 goes to you guys for that end of year Phillies party. You said. Lucy. That's the game, folks. Yeah. 220 and 500 goes home with the teachers. Students had it right, too, but teachers were too much today. Hey, join us next time on The Classroom. We'll have a brand new school, 500 more dollars, and the right for students to say they're smarter than their teachers. We'll see you guys next time. They are, you guys are. Look, it's AJ back in the mix. What's up, buddy? Guys, great game. Chloe, nice job. Stay safe while you're flying out there.